One of the largest and busiest ports in Africa, Lagos is the commercial capital of Nigeria and the second fastest growing city on this continent. The location of Victoria Island, the central area of the capital, at the edge of the Atlantic Ocean leaves little room for expansion and lagoons cover over a fifth of the land in Lagos State. The coastline averages only around two meters above sea level and has always suffered long-term coastal erosion. Historical maps show that the shoreline once extended almost three kilometers into the Atlantic, but continuing erosion has caused parts of the coastline to collapse into the sea, increasing the risk of flooding. The Lagos State Government, LASG, decided to find a sustainable and permanent solution that would also resolve the chronic land shortage in the city and enable further expansion. The LASG and South Energy Nigeria Limited, SENL, began feasibility studies in 2004, with Royal Hasconing DHV providing consultancy for the marine works. A visionary solution was proposed to resolve both issues, a new city with effective flood defenses to be built on land reclaimed from the sea. With an area of approximately 10 square kilometers, Echo Atlantic would have a waterfront and efficient transport system high-quality infrastructure with commercial and residential accommodation and leisure facilities. Welcome back to the Apex Channel. We're glad that you're still hanging out today and talking about some amazing projects around the world. To continue the video as soon as possible, you just need to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss the next one. If you've done that and you're ready for this video, then here we go. Echo Atlantic, officially Nigeria International Commerce City, also known as Echo Atlantic City, or the initials EAC, is a planned city of Lagos State, Nigeria, being constructed on land reclaimed from the Atlantic Ocean. Upon completion, the new peninsula is anticipating at least 250,000 residents and a daily flow of 150,000 commuters. The development is also designed to help in stopping the erosion of Lagos City's coastline. Echo Atlantic City, a 10 million square meter city being built on the Atlantic Ocean along Amadu Bello Way in Victoria Island, VI, of Lagos State, is indeed a beautiful place. The city, which is twice the size of VI, has different types of property, especially high-rise structures springing up on the massive land. The city, which has continuously played host to the Lagos Marathon in the last five years, is being referred to as the Dubai of Africa due to its attractions. When fully completed, it will contribute about 10% of revenue to the budget of the Lagos state government, in addition to tourism, employment, and other services. The land on which Echo Atlantic City is situated is 10 million square meters with many facilities, including a good road network, drainage, independent power, fresh air, and a feeling of being in Dubai. Echo Atlantic will satisfy the need for financial, commercial, residential, and tourist accommodations with infrastructure in line with modern and environmental standards. These standards will offer the city's residents water, waste management, security, and transportation systems. The city will also have an independent source of energy generated specifically for the city. Echo Atlantic is situated on land reclaimed from erosion and is protected by a coastal revetment designed by Royal Haskin and colloquially known as the Great Wall of Lagos, a planned eight and a half kilometer long barrier constructed primarily of rock and faced with concrete accolade armor. The Echo Atlantic City project received global attention in 2009 as the Lagos state government and its private sector partners on the project, South Energy, received the Clinton Global Initiative Commitment Certificate. As of May 2009, while the project was still in its stretching phase, about 3 million cubic meters have been sand filled and placed in the reclamation area, while about 35,000 tons of rock have been delivered to the site. By 2020, a few buildings, most notably Echo Pearl Towers, have been completed, with several more under construction and in planning stages. In Echo Pearl Tower, people are already living in it. Another tower that is yet to be completed is the Azuri Towers, where there are three towers on a footprint of 13,500 meters with five concrete floorings. In Azure Towers, affordable and expensive luxury is being built, the kind of life people want to buy in Dubai. It's located in the most dynamic part of the city. Out of the three towers, there is one office and two residential buildings. According to the CEO, Azuri One, an iconic building, is the tallest residential tower in Nigeria and West Africa, and the second tallest in Africa. The 33-floor building has a height of 145 meters. 
Azari II, a 29-story building, is also one of the tallest residential buildings in Africa, while the Azuri offices are 32 floors. When completed, 130 families will be living in the tower. The city will contain seven districts which are as follows, Harbor Lights, Business District, Marina, Downtown, Avenues, Echo Drive, and Oceanfront. Echo Atlantic has become an active venue for popular Afro concerts and sports events like the Lagos City Marathon and Copa Lagos. It has also secured an EDGE certification from the International Finance Corporation, a member of the World Bank Group. This is the end of the video. We hope you liked it. If you did, drop us a like and share the video on your social media. Don't forget to leave comments and share your opinion with us. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day and see you again soon.